after I posted the video that I just did on all of these frequencies, especially in the eastern half of the United States, I decided to just put in tornadoes into a search bar. And New York and Connecticut had tornadoes, deadly tornadoes, this week. What a surprise. Ultra low frequencies can do an awful lot of damage. 100,000 people were without electricity after Tuesday's powerful storms touched off four tornadoes in Orange, Putnam, and Westchester County, New York. Did you know about this? 90% of residents in the city of Newburgh were without power. Central Hudson, the utility which serves Orange, Putnam, Sullivan, and Ulster counties, says the number of customers without power is fewer than 6,000 as of Friday afternoon. Five people died. An 11-year-old girl was killed by a falling tree. Connecticut. Now this is not an area known for tornadoes. Does that look like a tornado to you? Tuesday's storm. A EF1 tornado touched down in Winstead. Maximum wind speeds of 95 miles per hour. It was 175 yards wide at its maximum and it traveled for just under a mile. This was in the area of Oxford and Southbury. The devastation left behind by the storms in Connecticut uh, had the National Weather Service sending a team of experts to check on the following towns, Brookfield, Danbury, New Milford, Newtown, Oxford, Ridgefield, Southbury, Winstead, Bethany, Hamden, Cheshire, Durham. The Brookfield area didn't receive a tornado, but it did receive a macro burst with winds in excess of 100 miles per hour. Three other tornadoes were confirmed in New York. Three people were killed in New York due to the storm. Two died in Connecticut. Now, I want you to watch this. This is the tornado. This looks like it is being manufactured. As you can see, it is kind of squared off at the top. This is the tornado. It was manufactured. I did happen to capture some of the frequencies going off Tuesday in this area. That, I'm sorry, does not look like a tornado. All right. Ultra low frequencies right here in Connecticut, right here on Tuesday. Um, and you know what? This was when, and I've never seen this happen on the um, national mosaic, but bizarre things were happening. This is the eastern half. Look at all of these ultra low frequencies that you can see all of the fanned out lines. Um,
and the heart brings. And Houston. Ultra low frequencies are very dangerous. And when the beams cross, they can produce macro bursts. Uh, harp rings down here off the coast of Florida. But all of these black things started appearing. Never saw this on the National Mosaic. But look at what is happening in the eastern half of our country. The ultra low frequencies being <sighs> emitted all over the place. Right here in Connecticut, Portland, Maine, Boston, Harp Rings. And Connecticut. And once again, South Carolina. Yeah. Uh, I guess. With all of the people who just are so clueless about what is taking place. An 11 year old girl died. Four other people died. Manufactured storms. This is our war. And if you're not hearing it on mainstream media or YouTube, it doesn't mean things aren't going on all over the country. People having to suffer the consequences of man using toys to kill people, to destroy people. And I am really sick of this. This is what we have to live. Living in reality, surrounded by so many people who refuse to join us in reality. Sorry, that does not look like a natural tornado.